Ladies and gentlemen, Halloween Horror Nights Week 2024 is sponsored by W Energy. If you guys know me, I've been drinking W here for many, many years. W Energy is the best. Damn light. It's the best right there. This is the uh, beach and peach flavor. Highly suggested. I'm a big uh, fan of anything peach uh, that goes around. Uh, on top of that, W, w has... 10 different flavors you can try from right now in their store. On top of that, shaker cups. You're going to need a nice shaker cup. Why not get a W shaker cup? That's going to be a good one. To have. That's always a good one to have. That's what I, I drink all the W out of, man, right there. But uh, real simple. Just throw in some water, throw in the W powder, shake it nice and smooth, and there you go. You got energy for hours on hours in. Now, if caffeine is not your thing, they offer caffeine-free flavors so check those out right now uh use code knights of whore at checkout for 10 percent off your order on all things w w.gg check out their store use code knights of whore 10 percent off your purchase now enjoy today's video Hi everyone, it, I'm Hayes and this is an episode of Nights of Four, which is probably weird to you guys because I'm not usually doing this, but this is going to be the 2024 uh, game plan for this year, but in order to do that I want to take you guys back to last year so that way you understand why my game plan is what it is. So last year, it might sound crazy, but I actually left my house at 3.30 in the afternoon uh, in order to get to park and go through security about 4.15. After that, um, we actually had a little bit of security trouble, so just a heads up, make sure you check their bag policy and what you can and cannot bring, or check into the know before you go, because that'll become very handy. <laughs> um, we got in line for early access about 4.45, and just a little bit of heads up, be prepared to create your own shape. Cause there's not a lot of shade out there and we don't want anybody to get heat stroke or anything like that so be prepared <laughs> uh, they go they went ahead and let us in a little bit early to give us our wristbands and just get us coordinated to get through the gates as early as possible and get through those early access mazes we went ahead and stopped at the bathrooms and then we went straight down to the lower lot we got to stranger things about 550 and we waited 35 minutes the house was about five minutes long, so next we hit Exorcist, and we got in line for that at 6.31. It was a 23 minute wait. Next we went to Holidays in Hell. We got there about seven. Uh, it was a really short, minute, short wait, only six minutes. And we went up to the upper lot, and we went to the bathroom, we got some food, and hit the Purge show. And then after that, we went to the Terror Tram, and that was luckily a walk on that day. After that we went up to the uh, the French Quarter to get some more refills and hit uh, Evil Dead and Monstrous. So for Evil Dead it was another walk on. Crazy we had that luck last year but that's what it was. So we got right in and after that we did Monstrous. That was a 20 minute wait but still I think that's pretty short. So we got through that and it was only 10-14. We had a lot of time still left. We went ahead and went to mon Monsters, and we went down. We went to the Curious George lot with Monsters or Monsters. We only waited 22 minutes, and after that, we went to Chucky, which was a crazy wait at an hour and 10 minutes. But we had a lot of fun going through all the houses. We were at 12:12, so we decided to try and rush down, and we decided to rush down and try to hit the last of us. So it took us 22 minutes to get to The Last of Us. I think we also stopped to take a bathroom break, but we were able to squeeze that in. And after that, we were able to catch the very last ending of Chainsaw Chase Out. So we were able to squeeze everything in and have a good time throughout our experience with a regular GA ticket with early entry and getting there early, but we had a great time. And like I said, it's very rare that you get to get through everything with a GA ticket. So hopefully this can help you if you do decide to go that route but I would definitely advise grabbing that early access because it can help you out a bunch. So with all that being said, in 2023, 
uh, this is what I think that we're going to do and these are just my thoughts and opinions on what might be able to help you with a GA ticket or any other ticket that you decide to get but also I just want to throw out there make sure to grab their app it can help you a bunch with checking the wait times and seeing where things are if you're not familiar with the park so this year with the 2024 lineup being what it is I would highly suggest going to the lower lot first even if the weekend isn't your thing it's a lot easier to work from the lower lot up so i would suggest if you do like the weekend to get in line for that first uh, the last time the weekend was around the lines got pretty extensive uh, i think we waited over three hours but you know if you're a fan you'll do what you got to do or if you got friends working in that maze you know big shout outs to them and i'm sure you'll go through so that being said hit the weekend first if that's your cup of tea. If it's not, just my opinion would be to go to Dead Exposure. It's going to be one of HHN Hollywood's originals, so I'm not sure, but I have a good suspicion that it's going to be pretty popular. The other houses on the lower lot are going to be Monsters and Texas Chainsaw. And honestly, I think they're going to kind of switch off on their popularity and their times, depending on the days. Um, different fans, different days, different crowds, you'll just get different wait times. So again, I would check back on that app, but hit up the lower lot and get all those done first. Um, if one of them is too long of a wait, you can do what we tried to do last year and skip that and then try to hit it back at the end of the night, which you might be able to do. Uh, after getting the lower lot done, I would suggest checking out the Terror Tram or the Purge Show or maybe even grabbing a bite to eat. Usually that's going to be the most crowded time since early access is already pretty much over and all your GA are now getting in along with everybody else. So I would take that time to go ahead and take your bathroom break, food, you know, and then like I said, hit up Purge or the Terra Tram. It'll probably be a good time. Luckily we got walk-ons for I think both of those. I don't think we really had to wait more than 10 minutes for the Purge show. So. I think that helped us a lot with getting through everything last year. After you get through Purge Show and checking out the Terror Tram, I would head up to the French Quarter, or over to the French Quarter, and you'll be able to go through Monstros and the Quiet Place. Honestly, I would go through Quiet Place first, uh, just because of how they line things up. You can go ahead and go through Quiet Place and then just hop right over to Monstros 2. And after Monstros 2, you're going to hit Luchadoras. Kind of whether you like it or not, <laughs> but we like it, so it's an awesome two for one when you get to hit through a maze and then go straight into a scare zone. So after going through those, I would suggest saying hi to your local Death Eaters, being that they're there this year, because we don't know what's happening, but hopefully they're there because we love our local Death Eaters. So I would suggest saying hi to them as you make your way through Hogsmeade and go check out <laughs> the other mazes that are going to be in the Curious George lot, which are going to be Insidious and Ghostbusters. And I kind of think that they're going to switch off again, depending on the crowds and the vibe of the night. So I would, again, refer back to either walking around and checking the wait times or hitting up the app meanwhile you're walking over there. So that kind of gives you the rundown of what the game plan is going to be. But in case you're worried about the scare zones, um, on your way into the park, you're going to see Chainsaw Punks, and then that's going to be followed up by the Skull Lords and the Murder of Crows, and that's going to be all up on the lower lot before you even make your way into Hogsmeade. And as I talked about, as you head into Hogsmeade, you'll check in with your local Death Eaters, and once you get out of Monstros, or if you're just wandering into the French Quarter, you're going to hit up Luchadores. Uh, toward the end of the night, don't forget about Chainsaw Chase Out, and like I said, make sure that you're referring back to the app and if this plan or game plan does work out for you guys please let us know and if you guys do something else that that works for you guys let us know because it might help somebody else so yeah this is just our suggestions and what we're probably going to be doing for our 2024 visit so we hope you enjoyed and i definitely hope you enjoyed i'm very new to this so yeah but enjoy your spooky season and be safe and remember to have a bunch of fun and be respectful to the monsters and their co-workers because we're all here to have a great haunt season.